Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Cloud Deep Dive. My name is Ankush Koyal and I'm Senior Technical Account Manager here at AWS. In today's video, we will talk about VPC Reachability Analyzer. This is a new service launched by AWS in last reInvent and in this reInvent, they added a new capability of AWS organization. I have two special guests from the team, Vabhav and Amit, who will be talking about this. Hey Vabhav, hey Amit, welcome to our channel. Hey Akash. Hey. Hi. Hey, Weber. So, Weber, can you give a brief introduction about yourself? Hey, yeah. So, I'm a product manager in the uh, Amazon VPC team. I'm looking at features related to helping customers uh, run their networks on AWS more efficiently and securely. Thank you, Weber. Hi, Amit. You want to go next? Hey. So, hey, my name is Amit. I am the lead engineer who worked on launching the AWS organization support for Reachability Analyzer. The team has worked for over six months for this feature, so I'm excited to show you a demo and see what first customers can do with this feature. Great. Great to have both of you on our channel, and thank you so much for sparing us some time from your schedule and talking to us today. So before we go into the demo, can you go give us a brief high-level overview of what VPC Reachability Analyzer is and what the new feature we launched during this event? Yeah, absolutely. So VPC Reachability Analyzer is a feature. Think about it as a trace route on steroids for your VPC networks. So oftentimes, as customers are deploying large-scale networks on AWS, uh, they're often trying to figure out if, you know, when their two instances aren't able to connect to each other or an instance isn't able to connect to the database, uh, mm -hmm. customers need to figure out, is it a network misconfiguration issue? Like uh, they might be missing a route table entry or might have a security group that does not have the right permissions. And trying to uh, figure out where the network misconfiguration is can, especially in a large network, mm -hmm. seem like finding a needle in a haystack. Right. So what Reachability Analyzer allows you to do is have a simple query as what's your source, what are you trying to reach at? And by applying a formal reasoning method, by understanding whatever is configured in your network, and also by modeling how VPC network connectivity works, Reachability Analyzer can not only trace for you the hop-by-hop -hop network path in your VPC network that your traffic would take. Mm -hmm. But in case you had a network misconfiguration, like a uh, you know, missing route table entry, it can exactly point to that missing route table and what the misconfiguration is. And what we've seen is literally uh, in, in practice, uh, what would sometimes take customers hours to troubleshoot can, uh, using Reachability Analyzer, customers have literally figured that out in uh, just a couple of minutes. So that's the power of the tool. And uh, what we have now introduced is you can use this tool across your entire AWS organization. Okay. So especially some of our larger customers, we see them deploying you know, dozens or sometimes even hundreds of accounts mm -hmm. and trying to figure out and troubleshoot network connectivity uh, wherever it might happen across any of those accounts is, is, it can be challenging. And so now Reachability Analyzer can actually analyze your entire network that spans across multiple AWS accounts in your AWS organization. Okay, great. So basically, like if we have a point source and destination, instead of going through and find out which security group is not configured correctly or route table not configured correctly, VPC Reachability Analyzer can show me and point me, okay, this particular security group you need to fix it to make this work. Exactly. And doesn't matter which account it is. It could be in the source account. It could be in a destination account. Mm -hmm. The network path could go through some intermediate account outside of the source and destination accounts. Right. And Reachability Analyzer can dynamically figure out uh, which are the intermediate accounts that that network might go, that path might go through. Right. And even analyze and troubleshoot their configuration step. Right. And that's useful because most of the organization they are having the central place where they are managing all the security or something that it is good that it will be going through multiple accounts. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. So Amit, you're gonna show us a quick demo on that, right? Let's jump yeah. in and then based on that, we might have more questions which we can take in. Sure. Yeah. So I am going to quickly talk about the infrastructure setup that I have in my uh, organization. So I have a AWS management account uh, as a central entity which governs the organizational accesses. Mm -hmm. And then I have two set of accounts which are connected via a TGW that lives in the third account. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And when they want to talk to each other, they usually talk through transit gateway. And what I'm going to show you is I'm going to try and run a query between these two instances and figure out if they are able to uh, reachable or not. Okay. Uh, so in order to start using reachability analyzer, you can search in services here and it will show you a reachability analyzer and it's going to take you to a console page for mm-hmm. reachability analyzer. Under this, with the launch of organizational support, we have this new settings page. Uh, what this has is on the top is going to show you your information about AWS organization. Mm-hmm. Right now, I'm logged into a management account of an organization, which is why I'm able to access all these settings. Mm-hmm. Any other accounts, like a member accounts, won't be able to access any of these settings. These are only available for a management account. So it shows you your organization ID, your management account ID. Right. And, and I also noticed that you logged in or you're opening it from Network Manager, but earlier it was under VPC. So is the setting is only available here or do we have it under VPC console as well? Correct. As a part of this launch, we have rebranded Reachability Analyzer under AWS Network Manager. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, this is the place to access the Reachability Analyzer going forward. Okay. Yeah, and then the settings page is only going to be available under Network Manager. Mm-hmm. So as we go through the next section that you can see on the settings page is turn on the trusted access. Mm-hmm. What this really means is you're or you're sharing your organizational structure with reachability analyzer, so we can assist you in running a multi-account analysis. So let's go ahead and turn on the trusted access for this. So now it's gonna turn it on and do some background processing to okay. uh, enable the trusted access for an organization. Mm-hmm. Then the next section that you see is a delegated administrator. Usually we don't want uh, management accounts to be working with any of the third party services. So what AWS recommends is registering a delegated administrators and use it to do any of the operations that you are doing with the service service teams. Mm-hmm. Uh, so here it supports registering up to five delegated admins. Okay. What's and below is, go ahead. One quick question, Amit. So when you are turned it, so what is doing behind the scene? Is it deploying some role in these accounts? Yeah, so it's going to do two things. When you turn on the trusted access, first of all, it's going to deploy IAM service link roles in all the member accounts so that we can run multi-account analysis. Second thing is also going to deploy these IAM roles, which are used by control to discover resources across multiple accounts. Okay. It's it's going to help you in creating a multi-account path. So you can choose an account, choose an instance IDs from different account and create a path from it. So that role will be assumed to fetch the resources from the particular account. Correct. And that's what it's doing mm-hmm. underneath. So yeah, right now it's saying everything is set up, ready to go. Let's quickly register a delegate and administrator just to show you how it looks like. So now it's saying pick an account. So I'm gonna pick one account that I'm registering as a delegate and admin. So now again, it's gonna do some background work. And yeah, it's gonna update all the roles so that now both member accounts and delegated administrators can run cross account analysis. So while this is working, I already ran a few analysis before for the demo purpose. So this is one path that I had created. Mm-hmm. What it has is it has a source account, which I kind of uh, displayed in my previous screen. So this is a source account. This is an instance. This is a destination account. That's the second instance. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I've created the uh, path between these accounts and these instances and I ran an analysis. It was able to find a path between those two instances. Mm-hmm. And it's gonna tell you that it's reachable and it's gonna give you hop by hop details of each of those uh, uh, hops. Mm-hmm. It also has some additional information such as here, uh, it's gonna tell you which ANI ID this has. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's also gonna show you this third account in which the transit gateway is 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 present right. so that's the third hub account which yeah. showed a transit gateway okay 
customers also have ability of clicking through these. So it's going to take you to that new account. Mm -hmm. You can look through the resources and always come back to this account. Right. Okay. In, in one, one, one place, you're able to uh, go it's across. Path. Path. Right. So one quick question, uh, Amit. So how you are, are you sending a ping from source to destination to trace that path or how, how you figure it out that what are the hops between? Yeah, this is going to run an analysis on your network behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, doing any live pings to detect this path. Mm -hmm. It's going to look at your network topology and figure out uh, mm -hmm. the path using statistical analysis. Okay. Yeah. Got it. I, I had one more example. This is a case where the path was reachable, mm -hmm. but a uh, reachability analyzer is also able to help out if the path is not reachable, which is where most of the customers needs help with. Right. So it's going to tell you this path is not reachable mm -hmm. and it will have an explanation on the top saying this security group does not allow a traffic mm -hmm. and if you go through it's going to show you the same path but it's going to pinpoint in the network path this is a eni that's not configured correctly and it's indicated by red icon here okay and then you can go ahead and look into the details and mm -hmm. fix it okay so basically if there is any problems it will just highlight with the red color and it will give a message that what problem is. Correct. Okay, that's great. So I have one question around it. So you talked about that it can go to from one account to another account. Now, some of our organizations, they have a central place where they are doing inspection of their all the traffics. Uh, they may have some third party firewall or network firewall. So does this support those as well? So what this does is basically analyzes your VPC network configurations. Mm -hmm. uh, so it can figure out the path all the way to the load balancer as a gateway load balancer or network load balancer behind which your firewall appliances might be running mm -hmm. uh, or including the security groups uh, on those EC2 instances. What it is not able to look at is if something is configured within that third party network firewall appliance okay. uh, because that's a configuration outside of uh, VPC. Right. Uh, now, on the other hand, if you are using an AWS network firewall, because it's a native AWS configuration, that is something that uh, we could potentially support mm -hmm. uh, using this tool uh, very shortly. Got it. Got it. Another question I have about Amit. Right now, it's showing one path, but there may be possibility that from source to destination, there are multiple paths are there. So how it figure it out and which path it shows in this. So it may be that out of four path, three are reachable, one is not reachable. So how, how, how that scenario will work? That's right. So by default, uh, what is shown here in the console is the shortest path. Mm -hmm. But in, a, in cases where we figure out that there are multiple paths that are possible, mm -hmm. we will also show you uh, in a console banner that there are additional paths that are possible. Mm -hmm. And you can simply click on that uh, console banner and it will also show you those additional paths that might be possible uh, mm -hmm. that are not necessarily the shortest. Okay, okay. So it shows you the additional paths are there. And is there any feature where I can say that my traffic should go through this load balancer or it should, I want to uh, do the analysis of a path where transit gateways comes in between? Yeah, so you can also specify what those intermediate components might be. So if you're like specifically trying to troubleshoot network connectivity through a transit gateway, for example, mm -hmm. whereas there might also be a peer in connection, Mm -hmm. You can, as an intermediate component, call out that, hey, you know what, I want to only look at parts that go through a certain transit gateway or through a certain load balancer mm -hmm. and it'll only figure out or determine the parts that actually might be possible through those intermediate components. Can you also show us that how you can create a new analysis, how that screen looks like? Yeah, sure. So on the screen on the top right, you can see it says create and analyze paths. Mm -hmm. So since I'm logged into management account, I am able to run a multi-account analysis, which means I can now see an option of choosing an account. Mm -hmm. So here I'm going to quickly select an account that has uh, instance that I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. And choose instance. And then for our destination account, I can again choose an 
not want to change any of the settings and then just go ahead and create an analyze path. Okay. And this in the background is going to trigger another multi account analysis. Okay. So when you choose destination account, does it pull up the resources at the time or it upfront pulls up that resource and keep it somewhere, the metadata? So as you change accounts, it's going to issue those queries to fetch those data because all these accounts might have a huge amount of data. So we're going to do it as customers choose this account and the resource type. That's when it will go ahead and pull the data from that account. OK. What about shared VPCs? Like if uh, any VPC is shared with me, so can I use it with those? Yeah, shared VPC is also supported. So in case you have a shared VPC uh, resources in a shared VPC, mm -hmm. uh, you can very well use Reachability Analyzer across uh, resources that are in those shared VPCs as well. Vavu, another question is like, right now it just, we are going and running the network and uh, the VPC Reachability Analyzer whenever we need it. What about I made a change and now thing is broken? Can I proactively get an alert that, hey, uh, you made this change and this is why it's broken. Yeah, absolutely. So all of the functionality that is available in Reachability Analyzer is supported with uh, publicly available APIs. You can see that from the AWS documentation. And so what you can easily construct is AWS even bridge rules, mm -hmm. uh, wherein from any time a change happens, either uh, that you can determine either from AWS config or based on whatever is your application, mm -hmm. uh, anytime you have that sort of change using an even bridge rule, you can invoke the analysis APIs mm -hmm. and see if the network reachability is still present. Mm -hmm. So this allows you to proactively validate anytime you make a network change, did you unintentionally break any expected right. network connectivity? Yeah. Right, right. And with the infrastructure as code, like uh, companies might be, organization might be doing changes to the APIs and it's good we can involve in the CICD pipeline that whenever exactly. you on that analysis. Okay, that's, exactly. great. that's, that's great. Uh, so that's all I had. Uh, all the question I had, Weber, I wanted to know about it. But thank you so much for coming online, uh, talking about this service. And thank you, Amit, for giving us a quick demo on it. Uh, I wish you good luck. Congratulations to the whole team on launching this new product. And uh, we're looking forward to talking to you maybe some other time for some other service. But thank you so much. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Angush. Thanks for having us. Thank you, Weber. Thank That's you, Angush. Bye.